Alright, I'm here with Zing once again in the matchup between Ghost Wolf and Trickster. It's been a good matchup so far. Ghost Wolf dominated that last match with 10 to 2 against Trickster, um, winning him the first out of uh, best of five setup. So we'll see what happens here. The next map is going to be Octane. Uh, oh, Zing, in the um, comments, I think it's gonna be what do you think we'll is going to happen? Here. Weapon choice goes, goes with, but uh, if Trickster continues to use that Remington of his that he's so much like, I think he'll have a huge advantage here, but well, I'll just have to see what goes, though. Yep, all right, let's uh, start this up and uh, see what happens. But uh, going back to last match, I mean, we talked about it a lot, uh, about the visibility of different things on different maps, especially the skins and the character skins, no less, and what uniforms and headpieces and all that you put on. And I've got to say, you know, we're watching Trickster, and he's rocking the most weird setup I've ever seen of war cry and body count and gold weapons and I've got to say it's a very surprising thing for me to see on any player but you never know how that'll play in but uh we'll see what happens we'll see what happens I'm definitely looking forward to the fight um we saw a lot of that camo come back to bite Trickster last game and giving you a quick view here again, seeing Trickster again rocking the body count and Warcry setup. And, uh, I mean, it's a risky move. It really is. And uh, he's actually leaned away from the gold weapon this time. It looks like he's <laughs> going with a caustic camo with a sniper He was this talking time. earlier a little bit about his initial strategy. He wants to and, definitely uh, surprise his opponent, catch him off guard or something they're not going to expect him. That's exactly what it looks like he's doing here. He's posted up in front of the uh, pawn shop sign of that sniper. And it's an amazing thing to see because, you know, it's amazing because Ghost Wolf is literally just a few feet away from him. And they don't have a clue, and we've talked about this multiple times, and I'm sure we're going to talk about it many more as the tournament goes on. But it's we're going to see more and more of these people so close to each other, just feet away and not having a clue in the way they can rotate. The fights could happen anywhere from seconds apart to minutes apart. It could be five minutes before they could encounter each other or seconds you know, the risky maneuver on Trickster's part, because other. look at all the angles you can, you can be shot from. You could, if uh, Ghost Wolf gets up in Motel and looks out that window, he's definitely going to see that big, bright, <laughs> yellow head of him. <laughs> And, I mean, if it, if he had the full body count going on, I've got to say, he's in one of the few areas on any map where that body count actually works as a natural camo. Oh, wow. He's right up against the red sign there, as you can see, with that pink camo, no less, blending him in rather nicely. It's If it wasn't for that headpiece, he would have blended in perfectly with that big letter N. And, uh, you know... We're going to see some interesting things here, and uh, there it goes. Oh, First Trickster better watch out for this and it bomb, goes to Trickster, Ghost Wolf is... immediately getting the kill, and uh, oh, nice. Trickster's moving away, kill. moving away. And Trickster just saw him. Looks like Trickster's going to try and close in on the kill. Does he know where he went, though? That's the big question here. As you can see, Ghost Wolf over by the carport <laughs> off of the motel, so you have some issues uh, with the wall the there. Micro. Yeah, and, and I've Ghost been Wolf to just down that uh, hybrid. Yeah, it's one of those annoying things, and even I must admit, when I'm using that thermal, it can be one of those things that just drives me up a wall, and it's cost me so many kills of going to switch that site, and it's one of the reasons I personally don't like to use it, I, because you know you go in, and you go to switch sites, and you've got to be fully into that scope, otherwise you're just gonna knife <laughs> the air, and it's not gonna look as good as you want it to. And it can cost I'm you kills. I'm glad Ghost Wolf chose to go with uh, an assault rifle. Definitely a good option for this map. Got a lot of long range on it. Yeah, a lot of the battles are going to happen across the center intersection. Me myself, I'm a very picky person, so I'm not quite sure what assault rifle that is. I'm, you know, I stick with my few that guns that I like, and I don't tend to too much with there. the others. Oh. Rough gun to use, rough gun to use. Got a lot of interesting kick on it, I've noticed. I've picked it up a few times here and there. Um, 
I, I've got to say, it's oh. a great gun, short to medium Looks range, but long range uh, fights, it can be a huge at drawback. At one moment, they're back to back within six feet of each other. And it keeps going back to that. They don't know where each other are. They can rotate around, and it's such an interesting thing to watch, especially now, from Trickster this point of view. Uh... And uh, we see Trickster with his sniper again, posting up middle of map. His yeah, back looks to, like Ghost Wolf uh, could be shot. running through That's that an interesting garage. move. In the moment here. Um, if uh, Trickster doesn't find a better place, it's looking oh, more it like Ghost yeah. Wolf is going to walk right up behind him. Trickster uh, getting out of there. Trickster just getting out in time, not to be seen. Perfect timing, and I mean, it keeps going to say there's so much luck involved in this, but at the same time, there's so much skill. Can you realize your mistake before they spot you? Can you realize you're in the open and your back is exposed to a prime area where people travel before you get spotted? Ooh. And you see Ghost Wolf here. I'm not quite sure if he saw Trickster there. Again, getting ready to come up behind Trickster, giving him another advantage. Trickster posted up on the tank. Now, does Ghost Wolf know that he's a sniper? I think Trickster's picked him off. Of the, I'm not sure, but he's got to know that. Yeah, Trickster picked him off once with that sniper, oh. and uh, he's oh. got to wonder, and there he goes, he just saw him, mm -hmm. Will, did he notice him though? Yep, he noticed him, and that's the kill. And it keeps going to that headpiece, that headpiece yeah. is what caught his eye, it's what caught my eye. And I've got to say, it's going to come back to bite him over and over again, and it's looking like Trickster's going back to his gold Remington. That's an exceptional weapon, it's so deadly, ooh, there you go, nice shot. It's so accurate, especially with red dot and a grip, that weapon is just going to destroy anything that you can get a shot on. Agreed, agreed. I, I've used the Remington a lot myself. It is one of the few assault rifles I actually favor. And I've got to say, I'm seeing it used in a way that's uh, making me pretty happy here. Um, Trickster's definitely got the right idea with it, but he doesn't seem to... Uh, Mm -hmm. and he's great definitely time experimenting with his weapon. He's got now. the ARX now, the hybrid. And, uh, the hybrid's a great choice. It's going to give you so much visibility at long range. Oh, most definitely. And as we can see, Ghost Wolf has not been favoring anything to hide him from those. And I've got to say, no matter what you're doing, if you've got that hybrid thermal optic, whether or not you're using something to hide you from it, like incog or whatever you may use, you know, or whatever tactics you're trying to pull, I, I've got to say, even with incog, I find that thermal, it's so much easier <laughs> to see people who are incog. Just because of that black-white setting. You know, it's so easy to have colors mesh in, but a uh, player is just so much more solid and any little bit of yeah, a little engagement on top of on. Looks like he's caught off guard. Oh, goes well with that. And Trickster had no clue he was there, yeah. and it uh, you're seems very to vulnerable come on back top to of that pawn shop, especially on the the part that's over the pawn shop with that ladder. There's just so much exposure at that one point. Give me a risky move. Oh, it looks like Trickster's getting the jump. Nice, good kill. Oh yeah, very very risky move. And Trickster getting the jump on him. Uh, Ghost Wolf still leading the match here with double the score of Trickster. But I can't help but wonder how much can you truly blame these uh, spots on that sighting? You know, on that headpiece, on that armor. I mean, right there, you could barely even tell he was using War Cry, and I've got to say, it really didn't help him to spot. Yep, I think he's and starting to find his face going the in the diner. And Ghost Wolf, uh, Ghost Wolf quickly moving on top of the diner. Up there, though. Pawn. Easy flank for anyone to run. Uh, getting on that truck looks a little bit better. Most definitely. And I've got to say, one of the things I've noticed is Ghost Wolf definitely seems to be favoring the higher ground here. 
and it's a beautiful advantage to have just being able to get that better view of the map and not only that you've got the advantage in a gunfight top to bottom you know there's almost no competition oh wow getting the draw on him Trickster can't seem to find the weapon he likes he's got to do what he's got now yeah Brockman that's a good option. The trickster switching it up to the end. Pretty good kills at medium range. It can be tough at long range, but well, anything is possible with that M tar. Most definitely. I've seen people pull cross map snipes with the thing, and it's a great weapon. It really is. You can't truly knock it. But at the same time, I've got to say, you know, as far as SMGs go. It's a little bit too much on the assault rifle side for my taste. And, uh, personally not a favorite of it. But, you know, to each their own. I think they're... One of the main uh, preferences of the SMGs is their handling. They're very quick to handle. And I think if people are expecting to engage people kind of at close range and make it come down to a very fast gun battle. What I like to see here, though, is that... The trickster here is actually yeah, stalking those Yeah, keeping the pressure, even though he's to be down. Oblivious to he it. Just, now he's not giving up, and that's a really important factor to play into this. Extremely, extremely so. And uh, Ghost Wolf walking away with the uh, second win in the best of five matchup. In order for Trickster to make a comeback here, he's going to have to win three in a row. Ghost Wolf only needs one more win in order to walk away with the victory. 10 4, that was fight. a great matchup. I'd like to see the next one. A very great matchup indeed. 10 kills on Ghost Wolf's part, 4 on Trickster. I mean, we're going to look at a lot more competitiveness going on in this next match. I think we're going to see a lot more aggression. I mean, it's going to be sovereign, it's going to be a large map, but there's so many interesting things that can be done on that map. And for such a big map with so many obstacles, it is so surprisingly open at the same time. So, I'm thinking we're going to be in for a good match here. But uh, that's all for this matchup, and uh, we look forward to uh, talking to you all in the next one.